An arson attack on a mosque in northern Israel this week may indicate that a small group of Jewish extremists is growing in numbers. They usually operate in the West Bank, carrying out what's called price tag or revenge attacks on Palestinians and their property. In the past, they've lit mosques on fire, uprooted olive trees, and vandalized buildings and shops. But the attack this week didn't happen in the West Bank. It happened here in Israel. And many say that's sending a wake-up call to the authorities that more needs to be done to stop these acts of violence. I sat down with the spokesman for Israel's police force, Mickey Rosenfeld, to talk about the incident. And I began by asking him his reaction to the attack. This type of act is something which is completely unacceptable, both in terms of criminal, and this is almost reaches a level of terrorism, causing damage to a holy shrine, to a holy place, the books that were damaged, the Quran books, the carpets that were burnt, and in fact, almost 80% of the mosque actually burnt inside. Who do you believe was behind this attack? There's a thorough investigation which is ongoing by both the Israeli police as well as the internal security. Joint investigation which is being carried out in order to find and bring those suspects to justice. We're looking in a number of different directions. Uh, what we know is that there were a number of suspects who fled the scene. And since the incident itself, which is just over 24, 48 hours ago, we're doing everything possible, both in terms of manpower as well as technology, to find and hunt down those suspects. Do you believe the attackers were Jewish extremists? I can only look at this issue itself and this attack specifically the way it happened. There have been a number of attacks that have taken place in the past, both in Judea and Samaria, as well as inside Israel. But specifically, specifically on this issue, we're looking at it as something which is on a criminal level with suspects which are most probably, most probably Israelis. Where exactly from is something which is being looked into. That's deeper, that's a deeper stage. And obviously I don't want to mention in terms of what's going on in terms of the investigation in order to cause damage. We want to let our officer, officers work and continue and find those individuals. How big of a threat do you think these Jewish extremists pose to Israel? In general, over the last year, there have been a large number of incidents that have taken place. Over the last month, there were five serious incidents that took place in Judea and Samaria, including stoning of Palestinian vehicles around the junction in the Shamwan in the Judea and Samaria. There were two major attacks on two different mosques. There was also an entrance into an IDF base where vandalism was caused both on the vehicles as well as to personnel and uh, the ongoing investigation involved in those incidents have, have led us to make four arrests until now. In those incidents, which are both connected to Judea and Samaria, as well as uh, inside Israel. There's been a lot of criticism that these extremists are not pursued and prosecuted by the police. What's your response to that? First of all, I disagree with that, uh, absolutely. Second of all, the Israeli police are doing everything they can, everything we can, everything our units are capable of doing in order to find, use intelligence, and get our hands on those people. In uh, Judea and Samaria, the Israeli police have expanded both the amount of technology which is used, both the number of personnel. We've also stepped up our patrols around the religious areas, around the mosques, around the villages, in order to prevent any incidents from taking place, possibly from the Palestinian areas, to where the, uh, the Jewish areas are. This is something that is constantly taken into consideration. The security assessments are made and then they're implemented on a day-to-day -day basis. We're doing as much as possible in order to de deal with each individual case when they take place. Some people have suggested that there should be a task force, more money, more resources put towards prosecuting these kind of extremists. Do you believe you have enough now to do the job? We have enough at our disposal in terms of units, in terms of manpower. Unfortunately, what takes place in these types of incidents, it's not organized. It's a local incident. It's an individual who sporadically goes out in the middle of the night, as we experienced, and then goes and tortures one of the most important symbols to the Muslim community, a mosque in a Bedouin village, which makes the situation even more complicated. But what we understand is they're individuals, and it's not organized, as in organized crime, which we deal with in Israel.